Good morning, Sophie. Hey, I almost told you good afternoon because I said, well, she's on. It got to be afternoon, but no, I just looked at my watch. See, it's nine o'clock. <laughs> so, greetings to all of those that are on and to all those who will watch us later on. Um, we just thought we'd bring you here as our final stop because, again, just want to see how this river was flowing, see what kind of water was coming down from the hills. Um, you all would probably know where we are. We just did a vlog the other day here with uh, Miss Liar again. Sorry, Miss Kier. <laughs> Adio, this is some information if you want to come back and have a look at it. We're not doing a historic, we're not doing any talking about anything really today, just a general. So if you want to have a look at it and stuff, please do so. It is a beautifully laid bridge that enables us to cross from Bashba now back over to Calawash years ago. Um, it was here, we used to come across the old train bridge. However, due to the danger and the corro corroding of it, um, we then had to dismantle that and then it was not deemed safe and prohibited from being used and then they built this beautiful footbridge on this actual same supporting of the original structure of where the railway bridges to run across here so beautiful history still is maintained but this is how it looks this morning so we look now for here many times I would say this is becoming one of the best or the most photoed stops uh, on the island right here where we are right now um, so <laughs> In order to maintain that, um, let us all take a photo of the EMC way. So 20 seconds, enjoy this here. Listen to the sounds of water. Show you a little bit more in a few seconds time. Enjoy. Unfortunately, we just had 20 seconds of probably one of the biggest uh, cigarette bush that I've seen. Uh, a big, big cigarette bush here. It almost resembles a tree, but we already know it is known as a bush. <laughs> Beautiful running water. Again, indications that there's not a lot of rain has happened because when there's a lot of rain and stuff, you should see what comes down here. Lots of trees and big branches and stuff. So we will come back one of these days and and see that i'm not looking forward to the island having any damage from that kind of heavy rain but if it does happen we will surely bring it for you because we'd like you to see what happens here so you can actually feel and experience what it's like in barbados at all times not just on the days that it's clear weather uh, and good conditions we'd like to bring you and show you every day so you can actually be living in barbados so i had uh, uh, mentioned that myself and our hycologist would do this river route one day hopefully that will happen I wouldn't be doing it now in the rain because I've done a couple of Barbados hash harriers through this area here in wet conditions up with Pfizer's and let me tell you I don't want to do it again. <laughs> we'll wait until it gets a little drier and stuff and then one of these days we'll do a summer stroll up there or something. Hopefully some of you all will join us on that. That should be an eventful situation for sure. But beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Wow. I said beautiful once. I said beautiful twice. Now I say it third time beautiful. <laughs> Greetings to everyone. Roosevelt, my brother. Good to see you. Call off your names. Iceline, hello. How are you going? Now remember, comments don't fly up here fast. So I can't tell you who is really on and who is not on. So if I don't call a name, it's because I don't see a comment or anything coming up because we freeze frame most of the time. I see a few faces in top. I don't want to start calling from there because I'll probably call them wrong anyhow. So <laughs> we're going to play it safe. So for now, this is it. This is what I think will be it for the afternoon if something comes up that I need to share which I think is needs to be shared I will most definitely do so with you we're not gonna end it here at Joe's River though we can watch a little further in I want you to see soup bowl and stuff because out there is so clean on the beach right now really beautiful there's a really strong signal just below what you see Edgewater Hotel so I'll show you now as we turn around again what we're sit taking in beautiful all right so I don't think we did a 360 so let's elevate my hand right up in here um, I'm not gonna talk so I don't have to project my voice uh, you know, I have a lot of operatic training and stuff. I know to do that, but as I don't have to do that, I'll be able to just take you high up and let you all take this spin. Enjoy, enjoy this beauty. Enjoy Barbados, enjoy Joe's River. And this is where we are, Joe's River Bridge. Here we go.
I was so tempted to speak in that circle of love and say, you know what? This this scenery out here is almost as beautiful as me for real. Honestly, I was just about to say that. But if I said that, then you all would not have been upset with what I was saying. You all would just have been simply upset because I would have broken the silence that I did promise you all in our circles of love. Because I know you all would agree with me. It is almost as beautiful or as stunning as me. But not quite there, but impressive for sure. So let's go again. <laughs> I ought to show you a little bit of myself just so you will understand what I was talking about. Whew, I had to catch my breath. You all notice that I interrupted my speech slightly there. If you're monitoring my RPM, you would have noticed a little bit of a sort of like a pause there because I was awestruck by my beauty when I turned the camera. That happens sometimes to me if I don't see myself regularly. Um, we're not talk of anything about here. The only thing we can mention about here really is Edgewater Inn that used to be Edgewater Inn. Uh, that star or that was actually used heavily in uh, Outer Banks 3. If you've not seen the Outer Banks series Netflix, please have a look at them. Number one is all a build up. Uh, number two starts to bring in Barbados quite a bit. Number three, very heavily used to Barbados. So have a look and see. Uh, that it is called Outer Banks 1, 2, and 3. 2 and 3 have Barbados in it quite often. I'm sure you enjoy that as well. Very smart videography. Uh, make you think that you're in, you're in one landscape looking at another one when we know it's not really but it's just that's just great videography um, but again the beauty of Barbados untold all right so a cup of sauce right there on the hill you know where we are and look how beautifully swept this beach has um, been because of the sea that we had yesterday the very heavy surges and strong winds and stuff all the sargasm has been cleared off just remaining a, a few bits of new traces that would have come in overnight you can see that clearly from the color as well we go back a little bit so I can um, look up the course just a little bit for you. We're not going to go any further up. That will be left for another day. But I will take you right out here let you have a look and see. Now we always tell you all the time. Just as I like to mention this here, especially when it's something that needs to be noted. Um, we always mention when you're walking on the beaches in Barbados, please to wear appropriate footwear if you're doing long walks and stuff into areas that are not frequented by um, a lot of people um, because of things that are embedded in the sand for example we have railway tracks there are very sharp spikes embedded in the sand you do not see them down here now but if you've watched vlogs just in the past you would know that entire area there of sand and sargasm has um, spikes that are sticking up for the old railway track or supports for the old railway track so as you can appreciate all that is sitting just inches under the sand depending on the sand movement it may just be a fraction of an inch under the sand so you don't want to be walking into those areas where some hikers and stuff if you're doing a lot of beach walks in Barbados I won't mess wrong even with two by twos. If on a good pair of hikers, get a good pair with the supported sole and also the harder sole just to protect your foot. That's only a little bit of my own advice, the one that I take. I don't take much of my own advice, but that's one of them I definitely do. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful Barbados. Thanks to all those again who've been with us throughout the day. And thanks again to all of those that find the time in their precious schedules and tight schedules to come and have a look and see what we're doing and enjoy Barbados through our eyes. That's what we're all about, EMC. Um, is showing Barbados through our own eyes and our own visions. So this is where we just came from. A lot of work going on out here with Edgewater, as you all would know. Um, I always say you all would know a lot of it's in the papers and stuff, or has been. Um, however, because of that, we found a beautiful spot here. Now look at this, look at this, uh, Nicole. See, they put a podium here for me. They knew I was coming. I told you that they would treat me right today, you know. There we go, you go right up on this podium. We you overlook this beach. So here we go. This is your 20 minutes, sorry, 20 seconds. Excuse me, I can be quiet for 20 minutes. This is your 20 seconds of silence, known as an EMC photo opportunity. Uh, enjoy, be peaceful everyone. You know, it's a weekend, be careful. Whatever you're doing, be careful, have fun, but be careful, remember, um, you know, we want to get to tomorrow. It's not promised, but we want to make sure that we do our best to get there. So have a good time and share your love with everyone around you. A lot of people around you who don't know what's going on can't deal with life or cope with life at the moment a lot of them don't have the avenue that we all have which is coming here and sharing joy and peace and happiness together so see anyone today looking a little down maybe a hello you know that's it if it's not appreciated well not a problem you have done what you're supposed to do have a great day love you all greetings from Barbados from our EMC uh, family and obviously from myself the Beijing warrior and of course star girl if I don't mention her in, uh, individually I'm gonna get so much flack on these comments later on um, Jeanette, love you, miss you, and to everyone else, miss you all as well. See you all soon.
man. I said I wasn't going to say anything, but as you all know already, I, uh, things are subject to break the rule because I am the dictator. Still, I have two of the three votes, so I can do what I want, really. Uh, Star Girl can only have the influence, but she certainly can't get a decision made because it's still I and me who are in charge. Uh, just in the distance, cup and saucer again. That is the mouth there area of the Joe's River that we were just um, walking over that bridge. The mouth is just around there from those rocks. These are known as the tune rocks or musical tune rocks. Some people call them the whistling rocks. Uh, anyone that's been here over many, many years would know that quite a few of the higher rocks that were above these here, these are like little pillars holding them up, have dropped off due to, to the uh, pounding of the heavy surf and wind conditions from over here. But anyways, it's not beautiful. Lovely. All right. 20, I'm going to let you all race right here. 30 seconds. I give you all the best I can give you. 30 seconds of peace and love and serenity from Barbados in Bashwa, St. Joseph. Here you go. And for all those that stuck around the I'm coming with something else. <laughs> well, you all smart, yeah. Anyhow, yes, um, of course you're not you're going to hear music. You know, my, my uh, voice alone is so melodious to you as well, too. You have a great day, everyone. It's love. Catch you later. I know not many of you will be uh, watching out today consistently, especially after they said we probably done our last vlog. Well, they actually said we had finished our last vlog. <laughs> said anything is subject to change with me, but um, I thought they would just come down here in the actual bed of George River area and sit down and enjoy a little peace and serenity. Um, sort of like to myself in silence for like five minutes, you know, so. I just was thinking there as well that there are some of you today that may will love five minutes of serenity and peace and if you want to meditate whatever you choose to do but five minutes without me talking and without any sounds except for nature around you because it, it would be a big healer this morning so for those of you who wanted a little bit of um, meditation or quiet time just doing about five minutes of my own self so while you're sitting there I'm also being here quiet as well and breathing it all in um, but if you you know would like this here now please join us if not uh, it's just for as I said for those that are here that wish a little bit of peace and serenity right now so here we go I'm gonna give you five minutes starting from now here we go
I know you all thought that I could not stay here for five minutes and not say a word. But let me tell you, the serenity, the peace, and the thoughts that I just had here, just um, incredible, incredible. So that was a first of our kind, which was called a meditation, a uh, live meditation EMC style. <laughs> Nicole, that's a new one for you. So you can put that in your archives and get that one ready and train up yourself on that one. It takes a lot of skill to keep your mouth shut. Uh, for five minutes I know you would know exactly what I'm talking about <laughs> oh boy you all hear me all giving the cold trouble trust me it's pure love so don't worry about it she knows exactly what it is what a beautiful beautiful day huh? and you know when we down here is really pumping with water and stuff all these rocks are underwater um, comes right up almost the bank there so I haven't seen it for a few years looking forward to hopefully one day seeing it but not because of the damage that comes with it but if the opportunity arises, seeing it, I'll bring it for you all as well. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. So this is where I'm sitting, where I was sitting. You saw what we were doing because you did it with me. If you were here for full time, if not, come back on, catch your five minutes of pure meditation. And about 30 seconds of absolute stunning beauty. <laughs> <laughs> I do hope you all have had a good day so far, you know, it's, it's been a blessed day for me. I want to come out here and I don't really want to see any damage, but I just want to show and reassure people that they, if they hear anything, you know, in the media that, you, you know, there's a lot of damage and stuff. I hope they identify a different area to what we have covered, because what we've covered, you've seen there is really no damage. Um, there may be the, loop, the odd roof coming off or sheets coming off or someone's house that we may not see in route, but where we have been, you can see it doesn't look as though there's been major damage on the island, so you can rest comfortably that your paradise is in well and taking care of hands of course by the almighty you all have a great day and enjoy yourselves i know it's very difficult to not see me anymore but that's how it is i just want to share this with you can't really move around much down here signal this immediate area jumps up and down depending on which repeater we're on or which signal we're on um so we just mess with this area right now have a great day love you all carry peace and love happiness and joy you've seen or that you've created in here for yourself I'm with you for your rest today and share it with all those around you. Have a great day.